Welcoming the Elephant. The, the, the Planet the Elephant. <laughs> Finally, meditation. And uh, meditation is not something selfish. Don't look at meditation as a, an exercise to have a better feeling for yourself. Not at all. Not, not uh, something which makes you good and better just for you. Meditation is changing the world. When you meditate, human scientists cannot explain that yet. Your, your body is like a, a radio transmitter, okay? When you put yourself in a state of meditation, yes, you feel good. Why you feel good? Because your body is emitting wavelengths which are affecting other people. When you meditate, that's why when we are together and we have meditation together, you notice, I'm sure you noticed, the meditation is more powerful when we do it together than when we do it alone in our bedroom. Did you feel it? Yeah. Yes. Why? Because we, we receive the vibration of other people meditating around us. We transmit and we, it's like a resonance, magnetic resonance between human beings, between our cells, your cell. When we meditate together, we affect each other and we reach higher level of power which make us feel better. Yes, but that's not the main goal. The main goal is we change humanity. Your meditation are affecting Obama, the leader of uh, China, Russia, all the people in the world are affected by your meditation. Meditation of love, bring love. They don't realize, they don't notice it, they cannot explain, they cannot feel it, but something changes in the world when you meditate for peace and love and you are changing the planet. You can change it physically by spreading the message, yes, but the power of meditation is incredible and can change the world, can save the world by just spreading love. When you sit and you think about love or you pray, so another explanation is prayer, you send a vibration of love which affects everybody in this hotel, including the people who are not following the seminar. They feel something. They are, they, they are not aware of it, but they are changed by us. We change the world by just being and by acting and by doing. So the power of meditation, don't uh, think about meditation as a selfish act. Yes, when I meditate, I just make me feeling good, but what do I do for the world? Yes, it's one of the most powerful tools to change the world is meditation. And you under, it's very easy to understand why. Try to vi imagine, just visualize, your body is made of different cells everywhere. They have the same genetic code in your heart, in your stomach, in your sex. Same genetic code expressing different parts. And we saw it yesterday on the video. But they are one. They are one. Our body. And we are one. When I say we are one, it's exactly the same. We are one. So when one cell is not feeling good, what does it create? Disease. Can be a cancer, can be a... a don't be afraid of cancer. Our, our body is creating cancer every second. But our immune system is destroying this cancerous cell constantly. There is a kind of a police in our body, if you like. There is a kind of a control, supreme control, we check. Oh, oh, this cell is depressed. Let's destroy it. When the cell is de depressed, it can create a cancer. So constantly, our body is creating little nano-cancer, one cell, two cells, destroying it. Search and destroy operation. Huh? Where is, oh, 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 everybody must be in harmony. Every cell in my body, must, in your body, must be in harmony and healthy. When one starts to feel disconnected, exactly like us, and in a way try to commit suicide, Sometimes other people help because it's not healthy for the community. So we this is exactly the same for us in this society. We have to be one, to feel one, and to really change the world by this feeling of connectivity, being one and being in harmony 
through meditation. When we meditate, we feel about ourselves. And they feel it the same way the other people feel our meditation, each of our cells, remember the, the hot wave connecting all our cells, they feel it and we save our cells. We avoid too many cancers because our body has limited capacities of fighting these cancers. And when there are too many, then it surrender and we die and we have a problem. So we have to Really, uh, meditation is helping every cell in our body to feel connected, to feel we are one. The cell in my big toe is thinking, with my brain, together we are one. And it's the same, human being, we are one. So, can we prepare the, the little uh, video, uh, we are one? Okay, and we will uh, finish the first hour with this video, which was made by the movement, huh? It's good. We have a good team of video makers in the movement. So remember that meditation is not at all a selfish act. It's a, a, a kind of medicine for humanity, like each cell feeling connected with the other one uh, uh, cannot become sick and feel, make our body feel good and be in perfect harmony uh, a long time. But if you have stress, what's happening? Some cell, when you have stress, big, big fear, like Gandhi said, never have fear, stress, then there is big reac reaction everywhere, hormones circulating in your body, damaging the kidneys, the, kid the gland on the kidneys, adrenals, thank you, which create adrenaline, which is a, you know, this boost of angry anger when you are angry by somebody, you make yourself angry with the word of somebody else. What? I am a dirty American, what did you say that? That's adrenal gland, and this gland become, create this toxin, because it's a poison like heroin or cocaine, going everywhere in your body, damaging the weakest cell. Then they, they start to create disease. With harmony, the blood pressure which start to go higher. Some people, when you have stress, the blood pressure go very, very high, and you can have a heart attack. Just laying down and relaxing, the blood pressure go down by harmony. So it affects everything. All the cells in, remember, all the cells inside your human being and all the cells we are, the cells of the baby humanity. So we are one. Are we ready? Yeah.